Thanks, <laughs> Derek. Uh, I'm here um, for my son, Paul and Devon. I'm very proud of you. You had to work really hard to be where you are. And um, for you, me, your dad, your sister, are very proud of everything that you accomplished, and we know you'll be very thankful in the future. And I want to thank all of you. You became really good friends with me. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Woo! Next person down the line is Colin. Now, most of you, everyone but Lauren's family and Jacob's family are in the band. Um, and even them, they know. Um, earlier this season, Colin ended up doing, uh, while we were learning some dance moves, no better name for it, um, he ended up dislocating his knee. And it was a little bit worse than normal dislocated knee. I don't know the exact terms for it. All I know is that I was helping teach one block of the students, and then when I looked over, Colin wasn't there. And we got let go for a break, and I immediately asked, like, hey, what, what happened to Colin? I didn't hear anything. And they were like, uh, he dislocated his knee. And I immediately just wanted to know everything, like, what, whether it was okay, what, what happened. And that, that was really tough to go through for all of us, I think, because to see one of our best friends that we went through band for four years have a, a knee injury and then not be able to finish the season was unthinkable. You, you just like, oh, well, that's worst case scenario. Well, things will be better than that. And then it happened. Um, and that, along with a bunch of other miscellaneous things, um, we decided to give Colin the award of most dedicated. Because even with his dislocated knee, on the last march that we do before we leave for finals, which for those who know, is senior march. Uh, we only have the seniors take the field. And Colin wanted to do that with us, so he sat on the sideline and played his instrument. But not only that, he decided to surprise everyone. And at the very end of the show, Chibuko has a, um, a tradition where we get in a big line called the push, and we play really loud. <laughs> and Colin hobbled his way out into the middle of the field with me, me and Lucas, and we all lined up in a line, and we flashed our trumpets, and I just went, I love you guys. And I think everyone cried. So, Colin, get up here, accept your reward for being the most dedicated person I know. <laughs> Alright, James, make us laugh. <laughs> you get to do all the serious stuff, everyone loves you, and I'm just like, <laughs> idiot, that was a joke. I love you too. Alright, um, so, every time I meet Colin every day, Almost every day, and anyone could grew this, he'd have his phone, and he'd be like, you're not going to believe this, and he would tell me something crazy, like a new fun fact, whether it was a meteor would come in that's going to destroy Earth, or this game's coming out, or I'm an idiot, so I kind of forgot a lot of them. <laughs> I'm not as smart as Colin. Like I said, he carried me through history. It was serious. But because of this, we've decided to give you most likely to become a gaming news anchor. <laughs> um, so, without further ado, since you guys have all officially graduated, it is my pleasure to say it is time to move your tassels from the left to the right. Or the right to the left. <laughs> Wherever your tassel is, move it to the other side. <laughs> There's all kinds of debate. <laughs> Congratulations, everybody. Grandma would try to find your kid at 500 dollars.